Now we'll talk about the operation of your windlass. The first step is to push the windlass button on the nine position switch panel on the starboard side of your console. This will illuminate the blue light, indicating that the windlass circuit is live. Before operating your windlass, it's good practice to make sure that the clutch is tight. To do that, you'll go to your owner's bag and take the windlass handle that we've supplied to the windlass so that you can tighten the clutch. You'll insert the windlass handle into the inner hole on the top of the windlass. Once it's securely placed in that hole, you'll turn it in a clockwise direction to make sure that it's tight. Once the clutch is tight, you'll be able to pull the anchor up smoothly and securely. Tightening the clutch will also allow the anchor not to fall back into the water. The next step is to disconnect the anchor safety cable. To do this, you disconnect the safety hook that's connected to the chain. Place it to the side so that the anchor can deploy freely. There are two ways that you can operate your windlass. The first is to use the windlass switch panel that's at the helm. Or you can use the foot switches that are mounted forward at the windlass itself. To use the switch at the helm, you push the down button to drop the anchor and the up button to retrieve it. To deploy the anchor from the bow, you'll push the button on the port side that has the arrow that points forward. This will allow the anchor line to pay itself out. To retrieve the anchor, you'll push the button that has the arrow that points aft. This will allow the anchor line to come back into the boat and lock the anchor into the anchor chute. Be sure to reconnect your anchor safety cable after you're through using the windlass and the anchor. To do so, you'll clip it to one of the links on the anchor chain. Finally, when you're through using your windlass, be sure to turn off the windlass circuit. It's the switch at the nine position switch panel. 